What's up, family? Thank you guys for joining us for another episode of Culture Minute, 247LiveCulture.com. I'm here with my man, Adonis Armstrong. What's happening? You feel me? And the lovely Gentile Cherie. Happy Juneteenth. Oh, yeah. Happy Juneteenth. You know what I'm saying? Y'all. Yes. End of slavery. Freedom Day. Yeah. So Juneteenth, you know, um, obviously this is a great day for us. You know what I'm saying? It celebrates our holiday. It is. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's celebrating Juneteenth out there. I hope you guys celebrate it responsibly. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you guys will be watching this post. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Post Post Juneteenth. I hope y'all turning up, though. (laughs) Doing good. Don't get in too much trouble. You know what I'm saying? Keep it. Hope y'all kept it, you know, 100 and civilized. You know what I'm saying? Just a little information about Juneteenth. You know, it's a federal holiday in the U.S., which commemorates the emancipation of the enslaved African Americans. Of course, it happened in June. You know what I'm saying? Which yeah. is where we get the name Juneteenth. You know, combination. You know, obviously, it celebrates the anniversary of the order of Major General Gordon Granger, who proclaimed freedom for enslaved people in Texas on June 19, 1865. So to my black people out there, you know what I'm saying? That's our holiday to celebrate. You know, July 4th is what it is. You yeah, know what I mean? Independence Day, we going to take the day off. Yeah. Facts, you got to take the day off. Because yeah. I remember as a little kid, man, you know, being from Mississippi, like, I didn't really learn about Juneteenth. You know, growing up, it was July 4th. You know what I'm saying? Same. You, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You, you only hear what you talk. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Some people are taught different things. You know what I'm saying? So when I actually, you know, found out about it, it was dope, like, my people we got something more than you know like what they give us you know a month in february but juneteenth it was something like special because like i didn't know about it and didn't even get a chance to experience it growing up you know what i'm saying especially in the south like the culture down there right right we've come a long way and it's good to see you know how far we came from 1865 to 2023 facts so Thanks. yeah, we got some hot topics for you guys this week. Starting off with LeBron James and his I Promise school, he is now giving housing to students and families. So he's doing great things. Um, I know the city of Ohio, well, state of Ohio, they really need that. So that's that's amazing what he's doing. Yeah, I mean he just continued making it happen and off the court. You know what I'm saying? It's you have to be more than an athlete. Um, but I, uh, I take that more, uh, a more step, like a farther step. You have to be more than anything. You know what I'm saying? You got to help bring up other people than yourself. You know what I'm saying? I think mm-hmm. he put a lot. He's uh, enabled himself to help a lot of people uh, in his community. And I hope uh, he continues to do that, build more things for students, because at the end of the day, that's who we're guiding to make us better. You know what I'm saying? For the future. Yeah. You know, the future is now. So you always have to, you know, you know, keep them up. You know what I mean? For sure. Yeah, for LeBron sure. is doing what he's supposed to do. You know what I mean? As an athlete, icon, superstar. And that's giving back to his community, you know, especially in Akron. You know, he teamed up with the East, Af- uh, East Akron Neighborhood Development Corporation, the EANDC, um, also with his LeBron James Family Foundation. And they put together this $16 million um, development for the families at his I Promise School, which will help uh, families that are in financial hardship and need. And that's amazing, you know what I mean? To be able to just give people uh, access to housing and food and be able to educate them in in, in a proper way. way. And um, you don't really see a lot of athletes or people on that scale that are doing it like him. So shout out to LeBron. You know what I'm saying? For shit, for paving the way. For yeah, real. The way. Giving back to his hometown, like, that's major. And that's, I feel like it's only going to get bigger because if he can do it here, I know he's going to end up bringing it to L.A. Yeah. Um, I, t- no, I was talking to um, someone, because I, you know, someone, and they was talking about how LeBron brought Cleveland to L.A. And mm-hmm. I was like, what do you mean? They was like, it's totally different. Like two 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 different cultures, you know what I'm saying? Cleveland and Los Angeles. I was like, at the end of the day, he's doing a lot for the culture. 
You know what I'm saying? He is. Like, he's doing a lot. You know what I'm saying? He got spring. All his homies are set. Like, they doing something to my... Like, they not freeloading. Like, mm-hmm. they're doing stuff, but they set. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can you not, you know, support him? I ain't even talking about basketball. I'm just talking about just support him. Like, he's his homies on. He's giving back to his, his community. But he's helping, like, the... You know, he's... He can't help, like, the world world. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? But he helped, you know, his community where he grew up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I think... uh as entertainers and stuff like that that's what we strive to do you know what i'm saying to get to that level to help where we came from yeah and you can't do nothing but support like if you ain't supporting you hating i'm just sorry <laughs> Facts. especially on that especially and that, on that gets me to supporting where you come from you know what i'm saying like this happened back in early like february january you know michael Corey jenkins in mississippi and um eddie eddie parker you know what I'm saying? In Rankin County. And I'm from Hines County, so I know it's, it's right there. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in Mississippi. And when when you hear things like he's getting beat down by, by the police or even just... First off, they went in his house on a... It wasn't even supposed... First off, they weren't even supposed to go there. You know what I'm saying? It was illegal. So an uh, illegal drug raid. And then you toyed with him, you know what I'm saying? You tried to make them have sex with each other, like sex toys. You beat them, throw eggs at them. You made them strip, take a shower together. Like, what are we doing, Rankin County Sheriff Department? Like, y'all need to do something. You know what I'm saying? Like, why is that still happening? Illegally. First off, it's legally. You know what I'm saying? I know they su- they suing Rankin County Sheriff Department for 400 million. I hope they get it. Like, I really hope they do to set example, you know what I'm saying, to to other people who wants to do that. Like, why do you have to do that? Even if you're black, why would you do that to some other race or anything? You know what I'm saying? Toying with two men. You feel me? Absolutely. And, you know, just so we're clear, this situation is involving Michael Corey Jenkins, who was 32 years old, and Eddie T. Parker, 35 years old. You know, these are two African-American men whose constitutional rights were obviously infringed on by these officers. Um, And it's a tough situation, you know what I mean? They were, I guess, wrongfully accused accused of pointing a weapon at these officers and whatnot and had to endure these circumstances. This is not... uh, this is not an isolated event. This is something that continues Can to plague us here in America. You know, it's the same story. Like Sandra Bland, you know, Breonna crazy. Taylor, everything. like George Floyd. It's just, why does everything have to act in such insane violence? Like, if you feel like someone did something wrong, why can't it not be, like, calm? Okay, let's take you to the station. Let's question you. If you didn't do it, we'll let you go. Why does it have to be we're going to break your jaw? Right. We're going to kill you in your jail cell. First we're going to come got, in your like, home shot. while you're asleep you know what I'm and saying? shoot shot. you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He has a scar on his on yeah. his neck. You know so what I'm saying? It's a terrible scar, too, man. And that's something that he's going to he's going to have to live with for forever. You forever. Know, being traumatized with that situation. That's, that's traumatizing. It is. You know what I mean? And that's unfortunate that we still have to endure those types of relationships between the law enforcement and, you know, obviously, you know, they're going for $400 million. Yes. And I do hope they get that, too, because you literally did something to me that wasn't wrong with me. Yeah. Like, you you changed. You changed my life. Yeah, literally. You know what I'm saying? And the crazy thing, I was watching, uh, you know, I was on Instagram and a reel caught my attention, you know. It was um, a Caucasian male pulled over on the street. You know, normal traffic stop. Wrestling, tussling with the police. Gets a gun. (laughs) Shoots the police. Stays in his car and drives off. I just know if if that was a POC, it would have been so totally different. First off, you wasn't even handcuffed. But they we get pulled over, you know. Our 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 community gets pulled over and we get straight to the handcuffs. Like why is that? We just having a we we just going home. Or any or anything. But we, we get stopped. Yeah, we don't get the same 
treatment leeway that yeah. you know the other people get you know what i mean we don't get that so i definitely understand that you know we have to move differently and just be cautious and aware of our areas and situations that, that we're in you Facts. know be safe out there black people um j cole he just bought he just became a part of an ownership group to buy the charlotte hornets you know michael jordan has finally decided to let go of the <laughs> franchise and it's a major win for him hey. although that the hornets have been <laughs> struggling for a struggling. while you know what i mean like, but you know that's <laughs> basketball terms financially he made a huge huge return on investment with the charlotte Her- or hornets so great business decision yeah. for him to get it out is. of it now and he's from north carolina Facts. so it's like he home absolutely yeah, he, he said you know what i'm saying he, yeah. he don't have to He's he's in the older realm, like I right, I can just chill now, you know what I'm saying? I can literally just chill, you know what I'm saying? For that for how yeah. much he got paid, like yo, sign me up. Right, right. Um, but to J. Cole, you know, that's dope. You know, also from Vietnam, you know what I'm saying, North Carolina. Fayetteville, Dreamville. Nah, nah, Vietnam. <laughs> they, they definitely know what I'm talking about. You know, I, I went to school in North Carolina. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Vietnam. They definitely know what I'm talking about. Um but yeah, no, that's dope. Um, being a part because I know he's a huge basketball fan he actually played too but uh, one of the best you know things I would say to him which helped him get to that position was the Caleb Martin you know what I'm saying it showed that he has basketball knowledge to get in a front office type uh, situation you know position so big ups to J. Cole keep doing you man I mean if they if them Hornets you know rolling shit let them roll Right, I mean, that's right. dope to see like rappers getting involved in things outside of the entertainment industry, using their money wisely, and right. you know he's gonna make a dope return on investment, just like Jordan did, right. you know. And he's younger, you know, so he can kind of connect to a younger audience and see, we, you know, I, 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 he said like Dream, Dream, yeah. Dreamville Festival I mean, year. You see right, Drake right, Dreamville got so much like. I mean, it was already Ooh. big at first, but like now it's just wow. I mean, rapper culture is, is heavily involved in NBA. You know, I mean, you see Jay Z with the Global. Nets, um, Drake with the Toronto, Toronto Raptors, Raptors. You know, and their culture just kind of. She will even you know, usher with the uh, Cavs, even you know right, the culture. You right, know, usher you with know the Cavs. I, mean? I can see the Hornets basically building their culture using J Cole as a as someone that's a spokesman for the organization Facts. for sure you know yeah. so you know big ups to charlotte mm-hmm. congratulations to j cole and the rest of the buying group um that's a it's a group led by gabe plotkin and rick schnall of the buyer group you know that's uh um, that's gonna be dope man you know shout out to everybody out there that's making those types of moves ooh, ooh. so i was scrolling through social media and i saw that Quavo and Offset came together for Takeoff's birthday, and it was really just lovely to see them, you know, come together, be captured together after their split and after, you know, the death, may he rest in peace. But it was just a joy to see because they were really, you know, a great group, Migos. And to see them come together for Takeoff, it just it just shows that the love is still there. Oh, yeah, you never, lo- you never lose love for a homie. You know what I'm saying? You... You might beef for certain situations because, you know, I really don't know the beef. But I'm saying you, as a homie, you might beef with another homie. But at the end of the day, that's your homie. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know, the homies. The homies, You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you can't. And family. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You can't throw away the homies. Yeah. And coming together to celebrate, you know, take off birthday. You know, that's that's love, you know. Yeah. Family going to come together in those types of situations. So it's good to see two brothers you know coming together for the greater good and celebrating their long lost brother for sure yeah you know what i mean paying their respects you know what i'm saying hopefully we can get some more music between them you know yeah, yeah that was good when i saw the picture i was like some new music coming <laughs> <laughs> yes and i heard through the grapevine that tyler perry may be getting bet and bh1 man there's been a lot of rumors out there you know um there was a leak supposedly from a source called the streamer mm-hmm. in entertainment and they put out this article about Tyler Perry buying BET for you know whatever amount and it hit you know kind of the blog circuit a little bit you know what I mean there really hasn't been a lot of confirmed sources you know it's just kind of he say she say right now but you know 
that's a major um, acquisition if if that's true. Yeah. And I know he's in talks. You know, that's obviously that's not a secret. You know, um, Fifty Cent is also a part of a buying group that's in talks mm-hmm. of um, acquiring Shaq, yeah, Shaq, Shaq too, and yeah. some other uh, other moguls in, in the game too. Um, so, I, as far as I know, you know what I mean. You know. I mean, it'd be it'd, it'd be it's dope. It's gonna change you know the game. It, you know, Whoever it'd be gets dope. it, it'd be it'd be uh-huh. dope. I mean, are they are they doing it together or is it all separate? I feel like it's separate. If I'm not mistaken, it's like it's either Fifty or it's either Tyler. Yeah, it seems and, like they're yeah. all separate right now. Uh, uh, they're all bidding. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Damn, so, I thought I thought it was gonna do, try to do like do it together. The leak when I was first. to say that Tyler Perry has won the race. Uh, yes, that's what it is. But yeah. I think if something like that had happened, we would be seeing it on Deadline or oh, yeah, mm-hmm. Deadline, Hollywood yeah. Reporter or even BET. LA Times, you, you know, know what I mean? mean? They, you know, they doing so it. So until we see then, you know, it's all he say, she say right now. Don't believe the hype just yet. Don't but, believe um, the hype. Public enemy. Uh, you know, how do you feel about Tyler Perry being the possible leader of BET? I mean, honestly, he already is BET. Like, he has so much stuff on BET and... I do feel like he does give back to his actors. He gives a lot of people a chance to get themselves out there. I mean, I don't see it going going wrong. He has so much content. People watch it. He's been around for years. You can he's successful. He has his own Tyler Perry Studios in Atlanta, Georgia. I mean, why not? I will say I am excited to see BET being transitioned back into black hands. You know, that's gonna be major for the culture. Yeah. Um, I do like that 50 Cent is also involved in the bidding war too because I like his content. I do yeah, like 50 you know Cent. I mean, either or, like, right. it, it won't hurt. Like, right. I go for 50 Cent too because I'm a true power watcher. Yeah, I mean, yeah <laughs> it, it, it just, it just, that's why I said, like, dang, are they doing it together or separate? Because right. it would be a, it would be a good match to, to do together because no, sure. you got to think about it. You have a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Because, like you said, I'm power too. Shit, I I know. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. What they what Fifty was doing for a certain network. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna give him mm-hmm. no promo, but he was doing for a certain network. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I know both of them. Like you said, uh, he already BT. Right. <laughs> he right. already BT. <laughs> and they both can bring something different to the table. So if they were to collab, it's no telling what they could bring together. Yeah. Like if they yeah. did, if they really wanted to. Yeah, that's two separate. Fa- that's two different fan bases that you can virtually collide Tap into. and bring Facts. together. You know, but business is business. So we'll see. You know, I'm yeah. just a spectator. Same. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and if y'all need anybody, we here. Right. Right. <laughs> Facts. Facts. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for tapping in again for another edition of Culture Minute. I'm Omar Cook. Gentile Gen- Sheree. Adonis Armstrong, you feel me? Tap in. We'll be back next week. 24-7 Live Culture. <laughs>